opted for the uh, defensive side. Straight away, going to take it away with Robs with that scope. Has opted for the scope. And I have to apologise for my harmonica. I will stop now. Mirko just gets opened up onto... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that name. I'm going to call him Zander. Zander! Yep. Yeah. As Madai or PMP has got the scope as well. So both scopes at the moment are being implemented. That could change as the game progresses as the bomb is darting into A. However, the first frag on A has been exchanged for the Enigma side as Tim uh, rattles into Mar uh, Marky, not Murky, as we are in 4v3. Enigma with the advantage at the moment. As, oh, his a tag, and then eventually the frag Umbe picking up the pieces of Madai's tag. As we are sat back into level playing field. 3v3, very slow round at the moment. Tim, really the only player on A. There is pressure being put on him by Mud. As he is making his way to bottom eight. Does have the SMG now, so that closer play is uh, is more of a possibility. Bait coming out, looking to draw the fire from Tim. Tim putting the fire in. He's really cautiously not going to overly spray it. However, Mud is long gone. He's actually got a nade out towards Gerd as it could land on Tim's head. It doesn't, thankfully, as we do continue, continue to see that clock ticking down and very little action from PMP. Gins is around front eight. One is about to push him on the timing on this. You're at 17 seconds. Finally, Harrison Skins stop picking up the frags. Time, 14 seconds all on Skins. Not going to happen. And patience certainly paid off for Enigma there. As... I mean, a minute and 40 in, we eventually see the round go to the Enigma. Indeed, it's a little bit of a slow one, but uh, let's jump straight into this one. Let's see what PMP are up to. They've got quite a nice few spawns between them. Mirko making his way towards eight. Does avoid the nade so far, but finally catches one, which was thrown by Xander with that annoying name. Tim also managing to find a nade for himself to just uh, clutch to his chest. But um, we do see Enigma with the early lead here. Rob's landing a scope shot onto Mudai there. Giving it a, bit a further advantage, leaving only Marky and Skins to bring this one back from PMP. Let's see if they can do it. Where have they got themselves? Marky going for the aggressive push into top B. There is a scope up there. He does go for the spray and the prey, but doesn't manage to connect it. So now it slows down, but not for long. Skins pulling the score even closer, dropping down Mal. And now if Marky gets this frag, he could really help him out. And he doesn't manage to do so. Rups just denies him with the deagle. Now it's all on Skins, who's made his way to B-bomb. But without the bomb to hand, so a bit of a useless pushing, gents. Just so you know, this is the fast host power tournament. This is for five thousand pounds, so this really does matter. Skins now one v one, almost towards B. There is two other players still alive. Low drops down. Harris with a lovely bit of hit fire there. Can he keep this pace up? Two more to find. Robs and Tim, and the bomb to pick up. Thirty-five seconds, so it's still very much possible. Let's have a little look. Skins is going to be pincered between the two players, but I'm not sure if they're too aware of where he is as of yet. Tim very much back in spawn. Rob's on the prowl towards B, but Skins has darted through mid with the clock ticking. Now 20 seconds on the board. He's got to get this bomb, otherwise he's really cutting it fine. Now sprinting towards L bend, showing some delightful movement. Don't get me wrong, but get those sprinting shoes on with 10 seconds on the board. It's more can he reach the bomb site than anything. Here we go. Yes, he can, just in time. But now Enigma know exactly where he is. Tim now puts down the fire. Doesn't manage to connect it. Can he manage to shut down Skins? No, he can't. Skins punishing him for going in half-heartedly. Now one man. Again, Skins. Robs gets the tag, but not the frag. Darts around, gets him through the Nicely wall. Done. Robs really cleaning up the mess that Enigma almost made. But just to say a big thank you so far already to the Epic Land team for making this whole tournament happen, as well as the sponsors as Fast Host and Game Shadow for providing the fantastic servers we're playing on and obviously putting up that big prize pot. So, Machine, we've seen it all go in the defensive side so far. Were you expecting a little bit more of a resistance from Enigma? Sorry, uh, PMP? Or how, how do you see this one actually unfolding? Um, well, in all honesty, I'm not really sure where this is going to go. I think both teams have it within them to take it. Um, I haven't really followed either team, especially with PMP's new lineup. I don't really know what to expect from them. I think they've had a mixed bag of results, some better than others. Um, but, I mean, on paper, I suppose PMP are the ones that should be taking it. At the moment, they are looking strong this round. Two players, a bit of a split and pick, as two PMP players are in ruins with that bomb. So, uh, interesting push from them, as Mud does get the fragment to Tim. Nice strat there. As Enigma are depleting in numbers, Mao and Harris left to go clutch as Mud looks to be taking that bomb to A and rightfully so as the last two players for Enigma are situated around that B mid area. Harris in garage though, let's go with him, see what he can provide. As he does go down immediately to Umbe, curse of the caster there as Mud begins to get that bomb down. Skins putting the fire down, trying to pin any sort of movement from Mao, not going to last long. Marky's on top mid and eventually that first round, crucial round for PMP does... Hit the board.
finally happening. Let's pick up with Marky here. Front spawn for the attacking side, which is PMP. Let's see if he can utilize this. Does manage to go great car route. Does spot a nade darting towards him. He does manage to just clip the end of it. And Harris will get the better of him there. Just slowing down the push already. But the reply coming in from Umbe. Taking down Xander in A with a lovely nade that just landed right in the lobby. Rob scoping up to A. You can see the players almost rushing in unison towards it. And there's Mirko making the best of the situation. Dropping down Mao in A. Harris with the frag just to avenge his teammate. Leaving it in a three on three. Bomb now down. PMP could finally secure a round. And they're doing just that. Umbe and Mudai just getting a frag each. Leaving it all on one man. It is Tim. Can he manage to claw this back? No, he can't. That was a real deciding round for PMP. Finally getting themselves back in the game. They seemed almost unable to close out the first two rounds. They'd have, you know, tit-for-tat frags, as I do love saying. Um, but they just managed to let it slip towards the end, but they seem to be in their stride now. Indeed, Umbe is actually uh, a man to watch. I just want to see how he uh, plays with the M4 carbon at the moment. He's top fragging with it, so he's certainly not uh, not doing too bad of a job as he does get two headshots! What? <laughs> just sat there on the yellow car, just turreting them as if it was uh, just a lazy Ouch. Sunday afternoon. Absolutely Cash. great play from him. Cash. That was yeah. brilliant. <laughs> keeping it chilled. Um, now we do see both teams with scopes and that is always kind of a questionable thing to pick up. A lot of people opt for the AK route. So let's see what Robs is up to. Going for the B peak here. Does manage to dart across. Doesn't actually peak MG house. That's quite curious. Normally they go for that quick little iron side down there because a player has literally just snuck through mid. Two players now assaulting the B side. Robs may have made an absolutely fatal mistake unless he lands his deagles and he's getting tagged through the wall. Mal getting the frag onto Mirko. Rob's Oof. finally down. That just punishing him for being a little bit lacklustre on the peak towards low B there. And that's why you do it. Umbe with a frag for himself now leaving only three standing for Enigma. Tim, Mao, and I believe it's Xander. Not too sure. There he goes. Xander dropping down Umbe in A. Splitting the PMP side all towards this B push. And see if they can follow this truly up. Mudai doing just that. Shutting down Xander in A. Marky gets the peak onto the guy near Laundry. Not sure who that was. Let's see if he can keep this B push going. Bomb is by B as well, do note. But there's a player really dug in deep at B Laundry. Very much a stormiest position. Mudai on the rotate now, taking this bomb back to A, the more preferable bomb site since they did shut down that one player. I believe it was Xander. But now there is a player right there, but he's getting covered perfectly, almost from skins. But Harris gets the better of him. Harris could really throw a spanner in the works currently. Let's find out if he can do just that. Both players now converging on the A8. Mal gets the first rag onto Mudai. One man stands. It is Marky, who's having such trouble even getting near this A side. He was trying to cover his previous player, which was Mudai. And now Marky gets the tag, but not the frag. On to Harris. Can he finish this one off? 23 seconds on the board. Yes, he can. Takes down Harris. Oh, just managing to escape. With an inch of his health, 15 seconds of the board, going for the plant. Will he go for the full? No, he fakes it out. He sees the player walking towards him. Let's see if he gets the amount. No, he can't. Eyes trained on the bomb site. And your round so far, well, round score so far is 3-3. Three to three. Very close game. Yes, uh, definitely. I, I was just literally had my eyes fixated onto the uh, onto Mal there, and he played that absolutely perfectly. Really wasn't, uh, wasn't taking much risk, but he's just played it out. Wait for that time to go down. And uh, in a situation like that, though, I can't help but feeling it's such a risk. Like, you're one-on-one. -on -one. Are they going to fake it and push you? Uh, what would you do, uh, you know, nine times out of ten? I know it's kind of situational. But when, when you're kind of, you know, you've got, basically, they've only got enough time to either plant it and run at you, fake it and run at you, or plant it and hope that you're not going to peek it and assume it's a fake. I never know what to I'm, do in that situation. I'm, I'm it's such a mess. Don't exactly. ask me. I, I panic and just hope for the best. <laughs> I just found my F key like, don't they run at me. I would. And then they don't and I have to cry and feel a little bit awkward for the next three seconds. Beautiful. Yeah. Alright then, I'm going to move swiftly on as Enigma have already taken quite a few early casualties. Mao and Rob's Explosive both taken down. Planted. And I can't help but feel this isn't looking too good. Bomb gone down on A and Harris SMG in ruin. Uh, not sure what's going on there. As he is finally starting to duel someone in ruin. It's an AK, it's Umbe. I say AK, it was actually an M4 carbine, as now Tim tagged and eventually taken down by Skins. 4 3. And I mean, PMP aren't getting all these rounds, but when they get the rounds, they are so concise. They literally just, just storm it. And I yeah, can't help but feel like they're going to literally, you know, get a little bit of paper out, realize that every round we've done this, we've won. Why aren't we doing this more often? And it's just going to take off. Yeah, indeed, and we do see a real push onto the A side here. Both SMGs going towards it. And now I can imagine Marky's going to make his way through. There's a player in A who have just managed to avoid. Xander snuck his way through. Skin drops down, Mount. Xander gets the tag onto the player in Elbem. There is two players in A with him. He's got to be so careful here. He does sprint around, takes down Mirko. Can he follow it up on the frag behind him? No, he can't because Marky takes down his teammate, which was Tim. And now Xander in a world of trouble. 3v4, though. Negma with the disadvantage. Can they claw back a frag? Yes, they can. Harris does do just that. Exactly what the boys needed. Bomb plant going down. Xander ignoring this so far. Goes for the frag on top. Hey, gets exactly that. Now going back to look at the bomb site. Can he get the frag? No, he can't. Umbe. 
a beautiful bit of hit fire with that M4 to V2. Harris and I believe I'm not sure who it is actually because I've got the overlay bugs. So it's Harris and Harris for me. But um, babe, on top A with the bomb. Got to be careful. He can hear the tags flying out in front of him. He knows there's a player by side A. He just can't peek it too much. He Gonna just get a glimpse of him, possibly a tank. He's trying to spot him, but we can see it, folks, on the overlay on the top left there. They obviously don't see those lovely red dots, and he's literally just missed him. Goes in for the fake. Teammate setting up a little bit of a crossfire, just covering the push for him, just to make sure he can't be overly, overly rushed too soon. So now Skins, well aware there's a player attack, spots him at the front. A does take down Harrison, the shot, scope shots are ringing in from mid-chops. Can Skins get a frag onto Robs as well? Yes, he can! Skins doesn't even need to see the player to shut him down with that deagle. Excellent Beautiful play. play from Skins, though. Yeah, really nice cover from the team. Yeah, and I'm just going to take a little look at the uh, the overview of this defence. Now, looking at Enigma mm -hmm. to see where they go with this. At the moment, we're seeing one SMG play mid, and pretty standard an SMG this time. Going Connection lost. I, I, put so, I put so much effort into that overview. I oh, know. Fuck you, Lee. Fuck you. Hey, man. Really? You? <laughs> oh my god. Rob's was in the. Oh, well, hello, guys. Um, can they hear us? Um, I apologize for our streamer. He's just. Uh, his How PC dare just he lag out? Indeed. Well, I was talking about the overview, which I think is where he cut <laughs> out, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit. As currently, Marky's in a 1v5. Makes it 1v4 with a Deagle. Got a plan, though. Not going to happen. There we go. Tim takes that to bring it to 6 4. And Enigma, it's a bit sluggish. Yeah, they don't seem to be adapting. As soon as PMP have kind of got into their stride here, it just seems as though Enigma are kind of getting a little bit shunted and just not being able to adapt in the ways they should be. I'm going to watch Rob here, see if he fa fancies peeking that B-long, see if he learned from his mate mistakes before. He actually hasn't. Mirko drops a nade onto Tim's face. Can they uh, follow up with another frag? Let's find out. Rob's absolutely fluffing the B-jump. But yeah, as uh, Machine said, he did give you a lovely run-through of everything that was going on. But sadly, Lee's PC kind of killed itself. Well, it wasn't the PC, it was more uh, the internet. So let's find out what we've got going on here. Who sees Xander once, once again worming his way through A. Harry's dropping down Marky. This seems like it could be Enigma round. They do need this after losing a couple of rounds in succession. There we go. Xander takes down Mirko, leaving it all on skins. Now this man has gone huge in you know, before. He's taking down the first player who was an A. He's leaving that bomb once again in Elba. He gets a tag onto Robs. Has to be careful because he's now alerted everyone in the op opposing team exactly where he is. Darts back, picks up that bomb. Now, are you peeking with the AK? Can he get these franks? There's three players still alive. And three people willing to shut him down with every step he takes. Here we go. He spots one just to his left, but he didn't spot the one to the right. And the score line is growing closer. Six to five. Still favouring the attacking side. You know, it's, it's quite curious. I think this map is still uh, very much what you make of it. I don't think it's one-sided, one-side biased, really. No, not at all. I think it may be... I don't think at any time it really has been. Uh, both... Both teams really uh, playing very strong, especially I'm in, I'm impressed with this A defense from Enigma. Mm. I know PMP are kind of staggering it with this kind of mid play, especially from Mirko, who has once again dived into red container, hunting for Harris, who is not there this time. But yeah, Tim, great play from Tim there. I think he's just doing the wall bang from Gerd as once again been doing that constantly here, as uh, Enigma sit quite comfortably in their positions. Mal this time has actually opted for Garage, which leaves an SMG. I think we believe it's Harris playing that B side. Rob's 
making his way around at, at Ruins, waiting for that push as Mao does get a fragment of Mirko. Eventually, that's the aggression down. I say aggression, a very slow aggression, if any, as uh, PMP are down to their last man. Now, Skins, where are you? Skins is in mid, does have the bomb. However, there are two players on either bomb site, and I can't see this really go in the Italian's way. Crouching through mid, very little action for him as Enigma are all hitting their prone keys hard. Don't need to do anything besides wait. Lie in wait. Now Tim is going to be the man to spot him. Does get spotted actually by Skins. Time not on his side though. As suddenly Mal becomes alert. Sits in tin. He knows Skin uh, is aware of him. The time is all that matters. Rob's is going to end it nice and short though with a, a headshot onto Skins to bring 6-6. Six, six, and that's the first half over and done with. I think you can't be, you know, unhappy either way, you know, and just have a little look at the scoreboard. Oh, done. I don't know what leader said. He is our streamer tonight. His internet died. I don't know what he's saying. What were we thinking? Uh, well, we, we were probably thinking that your internet died, which is exactly what yeah, happened. Pretty much what we thought. But uh, just to give you viewers a little bit of a rundown, just have a look at the scoreboard here. We do see Harris top fragging for Enigma on 12 to 10, really leading the way so far. But Umbe 14 to 7. You can see PMP just collectively as a whole really doing quite well. Obviously, it's fairly even spread from team to team, but you can see PMP just getting the better of them so far. Machine, if you press that delightful F key, we will be out of the way. So we'll be jumping to the other side. So I believe we'll be seeing PMP on the defensive side, which I guess some may say is more preferred. Uh, I just think it's because obviously the time limit works for you. It's it's not really at, you know map biased at all on this one. I think it's very even. So uh, I'm going to jump into the first round because I want to and I don't like you, Machine. I think you're... Uh, so uh, yeah, it, shut, shut up. Don't, don't even speak to me right now. Um, Tom's going to keep talking uh, anyway. Whoa, whoa. The manners on this boy are unbelievable. Skins get the first frag onto Mal, irregardless of Machine's distinct lack of manners. Umbe following up suit, taking down Robs with that info. Does just chime in with another. He's not happy with one. He wanted Two. Can he make it three? Let's find out. Xander taking down Marky, finally taking a stand for Enigma. The beautiful headshot through the wall as well. But here we see Enigma really in a bad position. Two players left to the four of the Italian side. Let's see if they can do the damage. Xander not with the bomb. The bomb fairly far away. Skins taking down his only last standing teammate, which was Tim. Now Xander has to get the frag here in top eight just to give himself a touch of hope. And the hope was stripped from him by Mudai. But folks, do make sure you just spam this link out there. You see that little share button just below the beautiful stream. Hit that, get it on Twitter, get it out there and really promote the stream because it deserves a good watch because so far it's a hell of a close game. Yes, indeed, and I think it's, it can only get closer at the moment as Enigma do start as they mean to go on. Lost that first round quite direly, but they look to be progressing quite strongly into this one. At the moment, we're on level playing field. But I making his way towards Ruin. Let's go ahead and take it away with Mirko as he's weaving his way between two of the Enigma players. PMP, oh, a disadvantage. What was that Deagle reaction yeah. spray onto Tim? Um, okay. We'll uh, progress through now into 3v3. Mirko quickly relocating as he does hear that bomb going down on A. However, surely there's going to be an Enigma player waiting for him. Robs gets the bomb down. Mirko, very little contention as he pushes towards this A site. And this could be a little loophole if Enigma don't pick this up soon. No, Xander is there, thankfully, as Robs' back was very vulnerable. As we do see the advantage change hands once again. Enigma in the driving seat now. Mudai going to go down as well to Xander. Xander, great round so far. Three frags. Can he make it four? As he does jump out to get it. No, it's going to be Robs to take the frag. 7-7. Seven, seven, and back once again to that level playing field. Indeed. And uh, I do believe the scope for the Enigma side has actually dropped it now. He's not favouring on the attacking front. He's left Mudai to be the one and only scope. So Marky line up a rather... Team Nate, to say the least, Skins dropping down Tim with the exploding car. I can imagine that was a grey car. And now PMP with five strong members. Only four. Make that three of Enigma. Skins racks up another kill on Harris with a sublime headshot. Let's see if Enigma can even withstand any of the uh, defending side. Now in trouble at MG. Darting back around to try and help his teammate. Is on a bit so too little, too late as Umbe with the EM4 shuts him down. And now Mao does get a peek. Gets a frag on to Umbe. Lovely little tap headshot. But can they keep this up? There's four players alive. To just one now as Mudai rattles off the shot into Mao's face and Marky just putting him out there misery with the Deagle and PMP once again seem like Whoa. you know when they do get around it's you know it's so confident it's quite clean it's very quick but you know as soon as that doesn't happen Enigma seems to somehow clinch the round. 
Indeed, I think it really is about, like you said, mistakes and uh, slipping up, and I think that's what I think Enigma. Uh, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I think maybe Enigma just needs to basically keep this aggression on. The rounds that they are getting have been so kind of. Uh, Maybe not the fastest of rounds, but they've definitely they've they've had a clear idea in their heads of what's going on. Maybe yeah, it's a there's direction. A, there's, exactly. And as soon as that direction gets lost, maybe it's because you know a couple of opening nade frags that, which weren't anticipated, they just collapse and end up you know dancing around mid house and top A, which is not where they want to be. Especially as Robs is now sat in mid house with four players to find. Make it three, as he does get that first frag onto Mudai. That's the scope out of the equation, as he's looking to go clutch. It's out of that window to try and take down Mark. He does so, and this is slowly forming. Quite a satisfactory situation for Robs. What's one top eight? Doesn't get the. F now this is one of those times you know, we were discussing that switch between scope to AK. That, my friends, was a situation where he was begging for a scope to be his second <laughs> weapon, and unfortunately he's failing to get out of this window. Finally, he does so. That's what's the top eight player? Umbe is ready for him somehow, and that is seven nine and PMP extend their lead. They do. So just a just a quick reminder. Actually, you might know this as you're going to Epic Nine, which is the up and coming land. Yeah. Maybe you talk to rather soon as well. It really is coming up to us, and I should be attending myself so I can give you a big hug. Merko getting a double frag there onto Xander and Robs. But are either of these teams attending, or are they being uh, yeah. online monkeys? No, no. Uh, Enigma, which quite surprisingly, actually. I mean, the turn up mm -hmm. slots went in about 30 minutes, and I think Enigma yeah. are going to be making an appearance, which is a real good news. I think awesome. it's nice to see, uh, you know, a Dutch team getting getting their asses over to the UK, yeah, for sure. and hopefully causing some upsets. Yeah, indeed, that's exactly what we want, and maybe this can be some perfect practice. So I don't think PMP are actually going. There's, you know, there's a, there's a real good handful of good teams. You've got the likes of Phantasmagoria. You've got yourself going. And um, who, who else is actually attending who's really a top tier team? I'm trying to think. Well, the ballers side is certainly ah, up there. Oh yeah, you've got obviously Rapture, Distant, uh, top, the one and only Tomsky, the, the big man <laughs> himself. But, but how do you think you'll fare at Epic Nine? Oh, it's, it's all up in the air at the moment. I think, I think oh, that is know, a whim's excuse. No, honestly, I think we have potential to cause an upset or two. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, primarily just go in there for the experience and the fun. But I think, yep. yeah, I think we're definitely, we have, uh, this is definitely the team, the biggest team I've been in with potential, and I think we do have some of that. Still! Uh, yeah. Enigma! Obviously, an anti strat there, back lot, so let's have a look at what there's oh, going on. One those in demos. Three. Oh, I've recorded this, don't worry. Oh. We're in a 1v3 at the moment, Tim. Just chilling in a 1v3. And not much going down, Marky. I said she's sorry, Mudai is the one to cause some damage and he's gonna get a deagle. I think one of those bullets wasn't through a wall, but he managed to get it nonetheless. We are on eleven seven and Enigma must be feeling a little bit disheartened now. Went through the went through the half six six, managed to get it to seven seven, and all of a sudden we've seen three rounds, make it four rounds, sorry, snatch from under their noses. Yeah, Enigma really needs to focus on where they're going. It seems like they're going for like this mid kind of Scatter and look exactly on the map where PMP are. They're really stacking this midsection. I'll be surprised if they even get through here. Zander's doing just that though, and they're proving me wrong every second of the way as Mal racks up a frag for himself with the AK. Finally, giving themselves an the advantage early on in the round. So maybe oh, they can bring this back. Marky gets the frag onto Mal. He's seen another I did two not as well. See that. Oh, he's cheeky. Oh, is he on the prowl? Let's find out. Here we go. The blue SMG doesn't manage to do <laughs> anything with it as Harris just appears out of nowhere. But Rob's going for the plant now. In eight, does drop out of smoke. Just to give himself some cover. Mudike dropping down Tim, leaving it in a three on two. Somehow Harris is alive. I'm not too sure how. Rob's now just setting himself up in lower area basement and just cutting off the areas where the you know attacking PMP side could come from. So now Mudai in mid-house darts down onto the fence. There's a player just to his right. He doesn't hear him, and Harris takes the shot with the SMG and lands it perfectly on his face. Xander finishing off the last man standing for PMP. Now was skins bringing the scoreline back with an inch of hope every time. But they really need to focus where they're going because this kind of scattered mid push, as much as you know, I said it last round, it didn't seem to be so effective before now. Not at all. Uh, I, I'm just interested to see where the SMGs are going. I'm going to take, go with Harris, see uh, where he takes this round. As there are two players, almost three players that have the potential to kill him. As he is situated quite handsomely for this mid push, takes down one and Merkus. So what's the other? Is skins in tin again? Skins in tin. Oh, <laughs> long, long day. He's <laughs> honestly, I was going to do something special with that, but it didn't happen. As uh, Robs is stuck in Elbert, not going to do much with it either. As Unbait does get that frag, and Tim, where is Tim? Tim once again in mid house. These players are starting to get just a little bit too repetitive, uh, but still, we see what Tim can do with it. He's definitely got the potential. 
But it's uh, not going to happen this time. Marky brings it to 12-8. And this is where Enigma need to step up their game, get that 12-12, and we can get into some tasty overtime. Exactly, yeah. That, that's what we want to see. And now Rob's with a nice front spawn, but the SMGs aren't too far behind. They seem to go for this B split again. I'm following Harris here, dropping out the nades. Just uh, give himself a chance to get through this B side. Mudai takes down Zada with the first frag. Arnbe um, follows suit with the nade onto Tim's face. Now, look already. The Enigma side is well and truly on the back foot here, and they barely stepped out of spawn. Harris spots on towards Tim's, but Rob shuts down Skins, who was in Tim, as you previously said. And now, there's a chance they can bring it back, but Umbe has taken that chance away with every second, and so is Mudai with the headshot and now Robs is left with the weight of the world on his shoulders can he do anything the knife comes in from Mirko he managed to just avoid that there's still three hungry Italians looking for their dinner and now Robs is looking rather tasty so far as he gets the frag or gets the tag onto Marky but Mudai's there dancing through the doorway and there's your scoreline for the first map in this best of three taking it to 13-8 and now obviously will be I can imagine it will be Enigma's final pick will it for this map well, they just uh, pick a map straight out. Yeah, no, this tournament has just gone. I think it's basically loser chooses, so. Beautiful. So hopefully we'll see, we'll see a map they feel strong on. And that's where you can take into Epic Nine. You know, they actually oh, yeah. really like this map. Uh, you know, this is their favourite. Let's avoid this. You know? And, you know, it's, it's nice to see, obviously, teams like Enigma, who may not be top end of the scene, but they're, you know, they're really giving it a go. And, and lands like Epic Nine obviously give them that kind of. Uh, Starting platform, you know, they'll, they'll get to play against the top tier teams. But there's also a nice mid range of, you know, players to play against. You don't just get, you know, obviously those very selective lands that are so far out of reach, you just get no chance of getting there without sponsorship. And But but lands like, obviously, Epic Nine, you, you have the ability to play against some of the best, uh, you know, a fairly decent amount. You know, it's it's not stupidly expensive. It's it's so needed within COD 4 right now. It's it's unbelievable. So I'm so happy. I'm sorry, I've just got up. back. Are you plugging Epic Nine? I hope you are. Oh, oh, just a little bit. Yeah, you okay. Look, okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Well, so I mean, anyone, anyone who's listening on the stream right now, if you if you go to Epic Nine, I will buy you one drink, and that indeed. it can be a drink and, of anything. Uh, and I tell you what, what, we'll do is we'll make that a joint thing. So uh, if you two attend, each. you get a drink from me as well. So that's two drinks. Basically, you're getting two delicious, crisp gamer pints from two of your favourite beautiful people that are exactly. going to be at the event. But we need to make a password because people could just walk up to us. Oh like, yeah. Hey, get me a drink. So so the secret word. For we'll getting a drink out of either of us. Uh, magic unicorns at 12 o'clock. Oh, I like that. No one's going to guess that. No one is going to guess that. Magic unicorns. I'm going to write it down because I will forget that. Okay. So that's free drinks. And also, I mean, guys, if you are if you are creating a team, if those of you that are watching are looking to get, you know, or you are in a team and just kind of looking to move forward, please, those of you, even if you're watching this VOD, this, if it's still... When does the, what's the day of the event? I'm trying to think. Mmm... -hmm. It's next 7th, 20th, 